one. I just want to show you my glow plug bypass system. In case you want to do it as well. It's really easy. Um, this is a starter solenoid. And um, you can just buy these from any parts store, really. But it's hooked up to a glow plug relay down in there. And you just bolt up the cables to the relay over the top of the cables that are already on it. Right down here. And then you just route them up into this new starter solenoid with another cable or a wire that you route down into through the firewall to a switch. So I'll show you that now. Alright. So here it is. This mess of a wire right here. I should probably take some of the length out of it. I don't really need it. But I wired it to the switch right here. And it's a push button, so it's only activated when you have it depressed. Which is <laughs> what you want, because you don't want to uh, have your glow plugs running forever and make a huge mess of your whole system. Then you have a wire coming out of it, going to a power source, and the instructions that I had, they said to wire it into an ignition wire up in here. And I had a test light and I was poking around these wires, trying to see which one was hot when I had the uh, ignition turned on. And I really, I don't know, I couldn't find one, so I kind of just gave up. And so what I did is I bought a, uh, a wire with a fuse on it, and then I just ran it out to the battery and kind of just avoided the whole having to splice it in problem. And so, it's a nice little uh, splice here to this wire with the fuse. Just keep things safe. I route it back out through the firewall again. And here's the wire, the screen guy right here. And the snaked it around out of the way a bit. That. And out to the battery here. And do a little demonstration how nicely it starts now. It started pretty well before because I pretty much replaced everything with the glow plug system. Now, if it's really cold outside, after the glow plug light goes out, can now press the button and now I'm going to press it. Oops, see the light came back on. And then you just hold it for a few seconds so you think it's good. And then crank it over. Boom. First time starting it today, a little puff of smoke and that's about it. It's like a charm. Oh yeah. So I'd recommend doing it, especially from a preparedness standpoint. If it's uh, really cold outside, this could really save your butt. 